Hi, thanks for tuning in to our daily inspiration. The late exorcist of the Diocese of Rome, Father Amorth, claimed to have performed more than 160,000 exorcisms by 2013. And just to be clear, when Father Amorth said he performed more than 160,000 exorcisms, it is important to remember that an exorcism does not necessarily have to refer to a specific individual and could be interpreted to include instances of prayer and ritual. Most of Father Amorth's real-life possessions were not considered to be completely full-blown as depicted in the movie The Pope's Exorcist, which, by the way, is an insult to the memory of the late Father Amorth. For one, he would never allow himself to be possessed as portrayed in the movie. But that's a story for another time. Anyway, Father Amorth also claimed that more than one demon can possess a person at once and took that into account. And so I thought for this video, I'd like to share five of the most intense exorcisms Father Amorth performed before. Number one, the Italian peasant in Rome. Father Amorth once faced a demonic entity that was brought to him in Rome through a young Italian man described as a peasant in 1997. According to the news article on Daily Mail, Father Amorth began an exorcism on the man by speaking in Latin. The subject could only speak Italian but was apparently possessed by a demon who spoke English through him. As the story goes, when Father Amorth mentioned the name Jesus Christ, the Italian man stared intently at him and started yelling profane curses at him in English, ready to attack. Father Amorth claimed to have encountered a demonic force trapped inside the man, who began to levitate after Father Amorth told Lucifer to release him. Number 2. Moon and Spitting Up a Radio Out of the 100 or so actual demonic possessions that Father Amorth claimed to have seen out of the tens of thousands of exorcisms he performed, one of the strangest ones involved a woman spitting up pieces of a transistor radio. Father Amorth claimed to keep pieces such as screws, keys, and nails that are magically conjured during the exorcisms of actual devils. He apparently saw the woman spit out small pieces of a radio after the demon had talked about it extensively during exorcism. He also claimed that other demons have regurgitated flowers and shards of glass. This is of course as other exorcists like Father Carlos Martins and Father Vincent Lampert said before Antics of the Devil. Number 3. 11-Year-Old Boy Fighting Police Another one of Father Amorth's exorcisms saw a young boy of only 11 years old fighting off three fully grown adult police officers with what he described as supernatural strength. Father Amorth claimed to have witnessed the supposedly possessed boy resist the strength of the three authorities and wrangle free of their grasp, tossing the men off of him. In another instance of unbelievable physical strength, Father Amorth claimed that a 10-year-old boy somehow flipped a massive table that was much heavier and bigger than him. Superhuman strength is apparently one of the signs of demonic possession. Number 4. Joking with the Devil According to Marcello Stanzione, one of Italy's top experts on angels and divinity, Father Amorth poked fun at the demon who was possessing a subject. The demon apparently accused Father Amorth of being a glutton, and he quickly retorted to the devil asking what business it was of his. The quick and sharp humor of Father Amorth during the exorcisms was somewhat of a common theme during a few of his exorcisms. He would joke that the devil wasn't afraid of him because he was so unattractive. He was also unafraid of rubbing his finger in the nose of a demon's face as a sign that he could not be overtaken by any demonic entity. Number 5. The Girl from Brescia In the earlier days of Father Gabriel Amorth's history of exorcisms, he met with another exorcist named Father Negrini in a town called Brescia in northern Italy. Father Negrini had been working on the exorcism of a 14-year-old girl when Father Amorth visited him to offer his assistance. Both Father Negrini and Father Amorth asked the devil inside of the young girl why he had chosen her out of all people to possess. The demon apparently said he selected her because she was the best option available. According to the story, Father Negrini would spend the next 12 years trying to free the young girl from demonic possession, and was eventually successful in doing so. Father Amorth claimed that the easier way to attract the attention of dark entities is by engaging in Satanist activities, which he considered pagan and outside of Catholicism. Father Amorth looked down on fortune tellers, Reiki practitioners, and other types of practicing so-called witches and wizards, claiming that something as simple as getting a tarot reading could open the door to demonic possession. He also said that another common way of attracting demonic energies is by participating in activities of talking to the dead, and even said Harry Potter is the king of darkness. He claimed that the possessed woman who was depicted in the William Friedkin documentary, the director of the movie The Exorcist, was cursed because of the woman's brother and girlfriend worshipping the devil. Well, that's all for the video this time. Thank you so much for taking the time to be here with us, and I hope you've enjoyed this video. If there's any feedback or suggestion, do let me know down in the comments below.